Now I can tell Jared that he's number one. Again, tonight we are finishing one little panel of insulation that we didn't have, so we uh, stole some from our neighbor. Don't tell him. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was gracious enough to let us borrow it permanently. So we're gonna get that installed, tape that on, and then work on the roof. And we're not gonna say what else we're doing because we might not get any further than that. Yeah, we have um, a tendency to say we're gonna get far and then something happens and we don't get that far. Yep. Although I will point out real quick that to put our roof in, I think I'm gonna take some of that Luan that if you remember from our first video I talked about, or from the beginning of, of the build, that we tore off the walls that were in here, I'm gonna put them on the beams that are running crossway in here that way when we put the roof on we have something to nail to or screw in depending on how we put it in i'm thinking we might either glue it and nail it or just nail it i'm not sure what's going to be the best option okay here we go and maybe just kidding Well, it happened. I did all this taping with this aluminum tape and waited and waited until I was gonna slice my finger open, and I did. Now I can tell Jared that he's number one. So the deeper in we get where we're burying wires, um, I had a quick thought that maybe it would be good if we could mark where the wires are so we don't end up nailing through them or screwing through them. So I have some of these yard sale dots. Um, so I'm just gonna go around and just kind of place these where the wires are so we can keep an eye on where they are before we uh, install anything over them and end up nailing them, so. All right, coming back from Lowe's now, again. Four? Four? Four, yeah, fourth time. So we changed our mind a little bit with the ceiling. <clears throat> We're gonna do flooring on the ceiling because that makes sense. But the stuff we had got originally just, I don't know, didn't seem like it was gonna be the right stuff. Um, and we couldn't, we didn't wanna go with beadboard because it wouldn't really match the walls. So yeah, it was just a whole big thing. So we got some uh, flooring on sale actually. It was like 87 cents a, a square foot. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, should be fun. We had talked about doing battery powered lights in here and, and not running wire but obviously as you can see we decided to go with uh, powered lights at least for when we're either running our generator or plugged in to shore power it'll just be a nice feature there'll be a switch over there you reach in turn the switch on something you know one of the creature comforts i guess got these led lights from uh, puck lights from lowe's so i just got a router out this little area here so the the uh, box can mount to the the ceiling and then the light will plug in. There's already a wire up there for it. Um, hook it in and that's it. So this should be fun. We're just gonna be real dusty quick. Well, we got a lot accomplished tonight. We did. We got the roof in or the ceiling in and we got the lights up. They're just, temp I have them temporarily wired in. Um, this is just roughing in to see what it's going to look like. Because I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was a very successful night, even though we had to run to Lowe's. Um, we did end up going with uh, the flooring, like we said. I think it was a good choice. Looks very good. He didn't we, believe me. <laughs> we did use PL Premium. Uh, I forget the which, which one. But we used PL Premium. We glued at every... Uh, and every jo or joist or whatever you want to call it, where we put those little pieces of Luan in, 
then we stapled with an air, uh, an air stapler. Uh, I was going to use brad nails, but the staples have, well, they're like staples, so they hold a little more surface area. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice. We're getting there. We are. I'm happy. Next steps are probably the air conditioner and the window, not necessarily in that order. Or the walls and the cabinets. We have to figure out what. Or the is. stabilizers underneath. Something. We'll do something <laughs> next. We'll do something next. So stay <laughs> tuned. We got a ton accomplished last night. We got the ceiling in and the lights in. Um, we really aren't sure where to go from here, so we're not gonna tell you guys what we're doing tonight because we really don't know yet. We're just gonna try to piece this together, build the trailer, um, and do it the best way we know how. So we're gonna figure it out as we go along. We got a lot done tonight. We got three walls in. The shiplap looks really nice. Uh, we also got the cabinet hung. And if you look on the bottom, you can see I did, or we did uh, plywood, the plywood that we ripped out, we put plywood on the bottom. And the reason we did that is because when we put the benches in, the two side benches, uh, we're actually gonna make them removable. We're gonna buy furniture clips, uh, probably from Amazon. We can link them in our link or whatever but uh oh we don't do that yes we do why are you laughing we'll link them in the link it's fine sorry it's been a we'll long link. night anyway. i'll take care of linking them okay yeah she does all that <laughs> anyway the reason we're gonna do the clips is so we can take the benches out like i said i think that'll be real easy to do uh the bench that goes in the nose of the trailer that we will actually mount permanent just because it's going to have to be built in the front there. I don't know if you can see, kind of has somewhat of a rounded. Uh, well, that and our electrical it. system will be up there. So we don't really want to expose that. Yeah. We are making everything removable pretty much. So if we ever need to use it as a utility trailer, we can do that. Um, so everything will be able to come out for the most part, except for that front bench. So and this cabinet. Protect everything. This yeah, cabinet is going to stay. Mounted. But that's just, that's because I didn't. I didn't feel comfortable putting that in uh, with, to be removable, being that with bouncing around and stuff. So, yeah, that was a lot. That was a long night tonight, but we got her in. We only had one screw pull through the shiplap, but it happens. Um, tomorrow, it's going to be a toss-up between the air conditioner, the windows, trim, or maybe none of it. Oh, we're no. working tomorrow. Well, we're definitely working on the trailer, but depending on what we do, who knows? Our plans always change. So the plan for today was to get the windows put into the little trailer, um, but it's going to rain in about four hours. So we are going to avoid opening up any kind of holes or anything in the camper. Um, but we do have some things that need to be done to our big camper. Uh, we're leaving this week to go for a work event camping in Hershey, PA. So we have some things we have to get done to that. We're going to work on those today instead of, you know, cutting a big two foot by one foot hole in the side of our little yeah, trailer for sure if it was just drizzle i'd say we'd go ahead and do it but it's they're calling for like up to an inch of rain and it's going to come really fast so we're not going to risk that our little helper is here oh my gosh she's not as clean as your dad's she's been begging us to come help so we uh, had her mom drop her off today so she can help us build the camper <laughs> Oh, 
Well, the rain that they promised is here. So I put up a little tarp outside. We're gonna keep working. Well, <laughs> so much for that. Like thunderstorm coming through, it's crazy. Another trip to Lowe's. I'm getting real sick of this place. <laughs> Hershey. Um, Jared had a work conference so we were down there this week. Mm -hmm. uh, we packed up this afternoon and came home and we figure we have one decent evening before the rain comes the next five days. Um, so we are going to keep working on this bed platform. We were going to do the windows but I don't think with the rain the that's a covered, great yeah. idea. The air conditioner isn't going to happen until the rain is gone and I think we need some couple stretches of a couple good days that it's not going to rain before we tackle cutting holes in this thing so yep the good thing is we've been out we've been away for the camper for four days we left sunday yeah so four days and nothing fell so that's exciting uh everything seems to be holding in place the roof seems pretty solid um the glue is hardened up so nothing fell that's good i'll just keep working at her bench put in uh turns out which well it doesn't turn out we knew this but the trailer floor is not level at all um so we've been trying to build stuff to the trailer floor we didn't have too much of a problem with the back bunk there or back bench because it spans the whole width of the trailer but when we put this down the back corner is nice and level but this front corner is uh, up off the ground so i just came up with this little shim system we're going to put a little bit of shims right there and then um, down here a little bit, and that should take up the, the gap that we have. Uh, we're also gonna put uh, plywood, and we'll make sure the plywood covers that so you'll never see it. One of the fun things about <laughs> building to a, not a brand new, uh, we will call it, nothing's cookie cutter. Okay, we, uh... Don't really have a lot of time this Saturday. Uh, we're headed to take my mom out for dinner later today. So we're gonna just put a couple hours in here to get working on the trailer because we're running out of time. So mm -hmm. uh, I think we're gonna finish that that bench. It's a plan, yep. And consider that good. If that's all we get done, at least we got something done. It's been raining on and off here in Pennsylvania for about a week now, so we have been really struggling to get this camper done. Um, we closed it up Saturday afternoon, um, and it was raining, and haven't been in here since, and we just opened up the door and found a little water. Doesn't look like water, it looks like it's just damp, so we're going to try to investigate that a little bit to make sure that we're not 
um, leaking somewhere or maybe it's just left over from being so rainy on Saturday. Um, we did get waterproof flooring or I guess it's left over from our bathroom project so I'm hoping that's going to help um, dragging water in and out because it's just a mud pit here. Um, so yeah, we're going to figure that out right away. It looks like it's coming in from under the bench. We never had water in here before, so I'm wondering if maybe we have a hole on the outside or something that we screwed through. And um, if you can see, it's definitely wet from there. Now, some of that is our feet from today, but um, there wouldn't have been water back there. So we're gonna really get this figured out. So I think we figured it out. The plywood is sitting right on the frame here. I think what's happening is the water was running down the metal uh, frame and then soaking in through the, the plywood. Um, don't really know what we're gonna do at this point yet, but we're gonna brainstorm a little bit and figure something out so we don't have that happen again. So we got a fan in the trailer, drying the floor out. Um, I think our plan is to get some kind of sealant uh, paint. We found out kind of where it's leaking from. So we're just gonna dry it out, which means we're probably not gonna do a whole lot inside the trailer tonight, just because of it being wet. I don't wanna put anything in there and then have to move it again if we have to seal up, seal up some areas. So we're gonna end up building the other side of our uh, bench area, our dinette area. The nice thing is it'll be exactly the same size as the one we previously built, so we won't have to guess and lay out and try to figure out what it's going to fit where. It's going to be exactly the same size on the other side. So yeah, let's get her going. 